All right, hello, my name is Lisa and welcome to the YMCA Virtual Studio. I'm glad you could join us today for our Total Body Strong Workout. All you're gonna need today is a mat and some weights of various sizes. If you don't have free weights, you could use plates or handheld weights. You can use weighted objects in your house like cans of fruit or vegetables or anything that would add weight that you can hold on to firmly that it's not gonna slip out of your hands. Um, but even if you don't have anything, you can do everything we do today with body weight only. All right, so let's get started. I want you to march right. Welcome again. Remember, this is your class. Take a deep breath in. I'm gonna show you lots of different options. What matters most is whether you are out of your comfort zone, you're working hard, but you're maintaining great form. Reach, 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 reach. That's how you're gonna get stronger. Reach overhead. All right, nice and gentle to start. We're just getting warmed up. Now take the right hand to the corner. So reach, 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 reach. Nice. Now in four more. Three, two. Take the hands across the chest. Press the heel of the hand out. Keep the chest up though. So getting that upper back, a little bit of the shoulders, the chest. Four more. Three. Again, gentle tap with the feet. We'll get bigger later. Down, low corner. Notice one leg goes out. Reach, 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 reach. Four, three, two. Now sweep the arms side to side, side to side to side. Make the move a little bit bigger. Always lengthen those muscles. Hold it here, press the back heel down. Now bring it up. Little balance work, but right away I want you to straighten that leg to swing it forward and back, forward and back. Getting those hips going. Now about, how about out and in? Here we go. Nice. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, one. Take that same left leg, step it behind you. Nice to, to a nice quad stretch. As you drop that back knee down, make sure the front knee doesn't go past the toes. Hands on the hips, open up the chest. Chest, now make it active. Down and up. Four more. Three, two, Last one, hold it there, palms to the ceiling. Bring the back foot in, toes up, tailbone up, low rib down, chest up, activate it, lift and lower. As you lower, keep the chest up. You tip the pelvis, the hips to the ceiling, right there. So feel that stretch to the back of that right leg. Hold it here, tap your toes, center, tap. All right, face me. Now scoop the belly, gently arch. Come all the way up. One more time, down. And I want you to walk it out into a nice, strong plank. Now you can be on your knees here. Or you can start on your toes. Do as many as you can on your toes. Then drop your knees when you need to. Keep in mind, this is the warm-up, though. So you might want to start right on the knees. Singles. Go. Four. Up. Three more push-ups. Two. Four more. Four, three, two. All right, hold it here. If you're on your knees, come to your toes. Very quickly, we're gonna go to a down dog or an inverted V position. The top of your head faces the floor. Your ears are next to the arms. Back to a plank, down two, pike up two. So you brace to the plank, stretch in the pike. Down two. Up, press the heels down. Down two. As you come up, press the heels down. Lower, brace, lift, stretch. Lower, brace, lift, stretch. As you lower, you can drop to the knees. That's fine. Remember, it is your workout. Take it down, hold. Walk the feet in, hands on the quads. Don't bring your head up yet. Scoop, gently arch, come all the way up. Shoulders back and down, nice big circles. All right, let's start. 
Left arm, reach overhead, reach, reach. Let's get a little bigger this time to the corners. Across the chest, heels of the hands out. Down low corners. Now reach the one leg out long. Sweep, side to side. You want a little bit more today? You can add a little hop. I'll give you some options throughout the class to add a little cardio if you want. Four, three, two, hold it here. Press that back heel down. Bring it up, balance. Straighten that front leg. Swing forward and back. Forward, back, forward, back. In and out, take it in, out, in. It's harder to keep your balance on this one, so you can hold on to a chair. Grab the side of a wall if you need to. Last one. Take that same leg back, drop it down. Quad stretch. Press the hip forward. Knee not past the toes, hands on the hips. Let's activate it, down and up. Down, up, reach. Again, lengthen. Three, two, last one. Hold it, palms up. Bring the back foot in, front toes up, tailbone up, low rib down. Pelvis tilted up, now lift and lower. Open up, sink it, open, stretch, open, stretch. Four more. Three, two, last one, hold it here. Face me, scoop, gently arch, come all the way up. All right, we're gonna get going now, guys. I want you to grab some handheld weights. I have a variety set up here. Know that you should switch your weights anytime you feel like you can't control them and you're really losing your form. Just set them down, grab something lighter, or just go without any weight. I'm gonna grab some mid-range here. All right, first thing we're gonna start with is the squat. I want your feet just slightly than, wider than hip distance. Let's just keep the weights at the collarbone to start, okay? Talk about squat four, up two. As you squat down, weight is on the heels, mostly. Your knees track the toes, but they do not go past them. Your feet are not out in a plie. They're pretty much forward, maybe five degrees out. That's it, singles, go, nice. Keep the chest up, shoulders back and down. Bend is at the knees, not at the waist. You do not bend forward. You got it, now take it down for two. Down, two, up, release the waist. Down, two, up, add a play curl. Curl, and nice, curl, up. Singles, eight, up, seven, as you curl, try not to shift the weight forward. You want to maintain that great form on the squat and just adding a little extra. Half curl, pulse, three, two, one. Up, pulse, three, two, one. Up, pulse, three, two, one. Up, pulse, three, two, one. Back to singles, eight. Straight. Control the weights on the way up and on the way down. Imagine you're setting those weights on a thin piece of glass. Two, down, hold here, hold. All right, now you can keep both your weights. You can set one down. I'll keep both of mine. Of course, you can set both down. We're gonna start back with that mid squat. Here we go, two and two count, down two. Now when you have your feet just slightly outside the hips, the primary target muscle is your quads. That's what we're working here. Quads, front of the upper leg, singles four, three, two. We're gonna change position in just a second. We're gonna squat center mid, then we're gonna take the right foot, step wide, one center. Step wide, center again. Mid squat, left foot wide. Center, mid, mid, wide, mid. Same rules apply, weight on the heels. Knees track the toes. Don't let those knees go past the toes. Do not bend at the waist, bend at the knee. You got it. 
Now if you want, side to side, go side to side. If this is too much, to stay with the slower pattern we're just doing. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it wide, down two. So now we have a wider base. When we're in a wide squat, not only the quads, but you have more of the posterior chain working. Singles. That would include your glutes, your hamstrings. You've got your inner and outer thighs a little bit. Down and up. Wide squat. Wide. Wide. Pulse. Three, two, one. Up, elbows in tight. Three, two, one. Weights up, tricep. Three, two, one. All right, you've got the squat going. Elbows in tight. And up. Just a quick set here. Two, one. Less with the triceps. Release the weights. Single squat. Single squat. Nice. Down and up. Get deep into that squat. In terms of full range for the squat, you want to get the butt down just above knee line as long as your form is good and your knees do not go past the toes. Three, two, pulse for three, three, two, one. Just one more, brace those abs, support that lower back, that's important. Up, take it back to mid. Back to the triple pulse. Three, two, one, up. Adjust your weights if you need to because we're gonna be pressing overhead. Ready, triple, three, two, one, and up, press three, two, one, up, press three, two, one, up, three, two, one, singles, how'd that feel? All right, I'd like you to get a full arm extension overhead as we press up. So if weights you had were too heavy, get rid of one or change it up. Ready? Triple pulse. Three, two, right knee up, weight to shoulder. Three, two, left knee up, weight to shoulder. Three, two, up. Three, two, one, up. Nice. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, pull. Three, two, one, pull. Three, two, one, singles, it's squat, pull, squat, to the shoulder, squat, pull, squat, pull, squat, pull, 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 hold the mid squat, nice, pulse. All right, I'm gonna grab my other weight, you can grab yours if you want. We're gonna go back to mid squat, mid squat, mid squat, weights down, Slow it down, hammer curl. Remember, feet are just outside the hips. We shifted the load, more to the quads. Keep the chest up, don't bend at the waist. Singles, eight, seven. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lower. Mid-range pulse, four, three, two, one. Extend up, three, two, one. Two more, three, two, one. Last one. All right, hold the weight center. Squat center. Squat left wide. Center mid-squat, right wide. Big, remember, it's a squat and a squat, not a plie unless you've consciously chosen to do a plie. Center, wide, center. Remember this tempo because you can stay here or you can join me side to side. Here we go, side to side, side to side, side to side, side. You've got it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Mid squat, down, up, take it wide. Step one weight down if you want, or keep them both. All right, wide squat, 
triple pulse. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. Now, if you're feeling strain in your lower back, that's a core issue. Brace your abs. Give me singles. Pull that belly button in. Support the lower back. Neutral spine. Three, two, you ready to pulse? And bring the left knee up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Left knee, weight to shoulder. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, singles. It's squat, knee, squat, knee, press, knee. It's getting heavy, I know. Knee, 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 center, curl, nice, curl. All right, next move, we're gonna do a slow clean and press or squat press with a curl. Follow me. Squat and curl for two counts. Curl two, press it up two. This is the move. How do you feel? Do you have the right weight you need? Up, change it whenever you need. Remember, form. When you optimize your form, you're gonna maximize the benefit of each exercise, and you're gonna minimize the risk of injury. So no point in losing your form. Let's try singles. It's curl, press, curl, release. Nice, curl, press. You want a little bit more? How about this? On the toes, up, down, again, go, curl, reach, nice, press, down, curl, press, we're going to do one with the curl, one more, that's it, hold the weight, and it's squat, press, squat, press, squat low, press up, add the heel lift, press, 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 shoulders only, press, take the legs out, press, to the chin, overhead, four. Remember, you can have two weights. You got strong shoulders, go for it. Last one, and release, nice job. All right, I'm gonna go back to both uh, weights. We're gonna go to a plie. Let's talk about the form for a plie. Toes are out to the corners, knees track over the feet, Let's keep our weights right here for now and plie down. Down two and up two. As you plie, you imagine there's a string coming up right through the crown of your head to the ceiling. Your glutes do not stick out behind you. There's no bending at the waist. Take it down two. Your knees track over the toes. Now for a lot of people that's hard, their knees tend to want to come forward. So you use those inner thighs, push the knees out over the toes. All right, add a front raise. Remember, form first. You've got that plie. Let's look at the front raise. Weight's no higher than the shoulders. You control it. Singles, lift. If you feel like you're heaving the weights up and dropping them down, you're better off grabbing something a little lighter and control it. Up, down, up for two counts. Up two, down two, nice. Up two, down two, keep the chest up. You need a strong back so you don't bend over. Up two, all right, we're gonna alternate right and left. Right, left, can you lift the right heel? Lift, Have some fun, add a heel lift. Lift, lift, lift. Left heel first, go left and right, left and right, again. Nice. Both arms, both heels if you can, and pulse. Four, three, two, hang in there just a few more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release, woo, nice job. Roll those shoulders back. All right, we're going to lunges. Right now, I'd like you to keep your right foot forward, step your left leg back. We're gonna start with the stationary lunge. 
And again, you can lose the weights. That's five. Let's lunge straight down and up. All right, so you want both feet pointing forward. What a lot of people do is point that back toe out. You don't want to do this. This is not right because you're going to twist the knee. Both feet forward. If you feel like you're tipping over, just go a little wider, but keep both feet forward. Straight down, straight up. All right, front knee over the first two or three toes. That's it, but not past them. Your goal is to get the front thigh parallel with the floor. Keep the weight on that front heel. You keep it on the heel, you're gonna get glutes of steel. Singles, down, up, down, and up. So, this is the proper form for lunge, straight down and up. If you tip forward and back, go longer. Pulse, three, two, one, up. Three, two, add a half of a plate curl. Three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, Singles, just eight, seven, six, just a few more biceps, that's it. Four more, three, two, last one, hold. All right, you can always come back to this stationary lunge. I want you to step forward, left leg. We're gonna do a walking lunge. You're just gonna step forward and lunge down. I'll move back a little bit, here we go. Step. Rock, up, step in, step, rock, up. The same rules apply. What you wanna do is hit with the heel first and go straight down. Step, rock, up, in. All right, I'm not gonna complicate it too much. Keep the weights right along the side for added load if you want. Step, rock, up. Again, step, drop, low. Front knee stays behind the toes. Up and in. Two more. Remember, you can go back to stationary lunge anytime. Now let's try and step back. Step, drop, up, tap. Step, drop, up. So this is our back stepping lunge. Again, let's leave the arms out now. Just add weight or get rid of the weight. Four more. Too much. Stay with the stationary lunge. And two more. We're gonna really take it up a notch. Ready? Step back, lunge. Step back, uplift. Step forward, step forward. Bring it back or lift. Step back, bring it here or lift. Step forward, floating lunge. Take it. Back, up, forward. If this is not feeling good on your knees, please take a break or go back to the stationary lunge. Up, down, up, eight, up, seven, up, six, up, five, up, four. I really want you to think about the lunge. Two, last one, Woo, shake it out. Nice. All right, right now, keep that Left leg forward, right leg back. Stationary lunge on this side. Bicep curl, here we go. Full curl, up two, curl. So we've actually switched sides. You'll feel it in a minute. Down two, curl. Talk about the lunge. Pulse, three, two, one. Are both of your feet pointing forward? Do your knees, track the toes. They do not go past though. And let's see, full range. Can you get thigh, front thigh parallel. Drop the back knee down. You form about a 90 degree angle at each knee. Three, two, single lunges. Down, up, straight down, straight up. Again, straight down, down, up. Down, up, up, two more, step it in. All right, we're gonna walk forward and step into the lunge. Right foot comes forward, here we go. It's step, wrap, up, tap. Step, wrap, up. 
So you strike with the heel, drop, straight down and up. Heel hits, drop down, straight and up. Nice, drop. Again, we will leave the arms out of it because I want you to really think about your lunge form. It is not worth messing up your knees to do a lunge. Drop, up, in, step, drop, step back, step, drop, up, and in. Nice, step, drop, up, in, step, drop, straight down, reach, straight down, four more, down, three, we've got two more, last one, all right, step forward and back, go forward, up, back, up, we jump right into this one, forward, now you can keep the foot down or lift it up, little balance, but again, form first. Step long, drop straight down. Four more, three, two, one, and shake it out, nice job. All right, moving on guys, I want you to shift your weight to your right leg. We're gonna do some shoulder work here. So if you need to set the weights down, go right ahead. Grab a light set if you want. Left heel forward, toes up, single leg squat. Weight is still on the heels, knee still does not go past the toes. Most likely your range is very limited here. We're not gonna be here long. Hold it here, lift the knee up. Weights together, chest up, shoulders back and down. We're gonna rotate that knee out and in. Open up, in. So you can set the foot on the floor. Here we go, open and close, again, rotate out, and in, just two more, open, and close, again, open, close, give me singles, go eight, in, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, hold, extend the leg out, Face the knee forward, okay. Let's come bring those weights up. We're working on the shoulders, switch the weights if you need to. Shift the weight back to the right leg. Side crunch, left arm, left leg. Go, eight, seven, six. So you can set the foot down, regain your balance, or keep it hovering above the floor. Two, opposite arm, same leg. Nice, seven. Six, five, right angle, four more, three, two, can you try both arms? Come on, eight, seven, strong arms, strong shoulders. Flex the foot, lift the ankle to the ceiling, three, two, up, hold, weights together to a plie, right in front of the chest, down two, and up two. You know the form for a plie this time, so I just want you to drop, hold it there, press the knees over the toes, hips and knees face the mirror. Chest is up, shoulders are back and down. All you're gonna do is take the weight, rotate, they stay glued to your chest, side, center. So if you had a pole extending from your weight, that pole is gonna go from 10 o'clock, center, to two o'clock, center, again. 10 o'clock, lower in the plie, center, over, center, one more, over, center, over, center, side, center, side. Do not twist at the waist, so none of this, that does not happen. Keep the hips and knees locked in, facing forward. Over, over, and release. Nice job. All right, this time come on the left leg. Single leg squat. Single leg. Single leg. Keep the foot down if you need. Just a quick set. Last one. Bring that knee up. 
Weights in. Here we go. Out, in, out, and in. Out. Keep the elbows in tight. Working those rotators. Four more. Four. Three. Set the foot down if you need to. Pulse for three. Three, two, one. Again. Three, two, one. Again. Three, two, one. Two more. Three, two, hold. Extend that leg out. Turn the knee forward. Arms up. Load the left leg. Side crunch. Eight, seven. So you are flexing the foot, lifting the ankle to the ceiling. Leg is straight, but knee is soft. Two, opposite arm. Eight, seven, six, four more. Three, two, both arms. Come on, eight, seven, six, five. Last, four more. Three, two, hold, and release. Nice job. All right, set those weights down, guys. Come on back. Give your back a little bit of a stretch, little torso twist. We're going to start with a slow squat jump. Without the jump, though. Down two and up two. So here's option one. Down and up. You never look at the floor. Keep the chest up. You reach for the floor, but you don't look at it. Single, down, up, down, up on the toes, down. Jump if you want. So plenty of options. You choose what you want. Down, eight more, go, eight, reach, seven, up, six, up, up, four, three, Two, one, and hold. Nice job. All right, grab your mat. I'm going to unroll mine right here. What I want you to do is bring your hands down. Walk your feet out to a strong plank. Abs are braced. So your options here would be to be on your toes. You can drop to your knees. If you bring your knees forward, it's gonna take some of the weight off your chest. So you can do that. As you get tired, you can move the knees forward. Or maybe as you do these, you feel like they're not enough, you can go out on the toes. Push-ups, go. Eight, up, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, Gentle shoulder press, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. All right, take a break if you need. The rule to follow at all times is you do as many as you can do. And then do one more than that. Take a break if you need it, you'll get stronger. Single push-ups. Eight, up, seven, six, five, four more, three, you're getting a break, two, last one, child's pose, woo, nice. All right, come on up, I just want you to give the chest a break, clasp the hands behind, open up through the chest. We're going to go back down there, you can start on your knees but you're gonna need to come to the toes right now because we're gonna go to a down dog. Inverted V position. The crown of your head faces the mat. Your ears are next to your arms. Press, right heel down, left, right, and left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Press both heels down, now come to a plank, to a plank. Back to a down dog, to a plank. You can drop to your knees in the plank, come back up to the toes, plank, ready, singles. It's lift, lower, 
So you stretch and brace, stretch, brace, stretch, brace, stretch, brace, stretch, brace, stretch, brace, stretch, hold it here, hold it, eight, seven, hips are in line with the shoulders. Don't let that back arch and don't stick the butt up. If you have to stick the butt up, you're better off coming to the knees and lower the hips. Hold it, three, two, one, break. Nice. Walk those fingertips out. All right, we're gonna come back down there, guys. This time in a hover position. I want your fists together, elbows beneath the shoulders. Knees wider than the hips. Start on the knees. And if you're feeling strong, come onto the toes. Hold it here. So you need the shoulders directly over the elbows. You don't want to be at an angle. You want the bone itself to take some of the load. Hold it. You can hang out here or you can join me. Tap the right hand out. Tap. As you tap it out, you want to keep the rest of the body completely stable. As if you're balancing a very full water of glass on your back and you don't want to spill a drop. Now if you want, opposite leg lift, lift. All these options are for you to choose from. Tap. 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 Hold. Eight, seven, six, five. This is how you get stronger. Hang in there, eight more. Come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Child's pose, whoo. Again. Walk those fingertips out. Come on up. Stretch out the shoulders. Switch. Other shoulder. We're gonna go back to the hover, but this time, forearms parallel with each other. Same rule though, you can be on your knees and stay on your knees the whole time, that's fine. Or you can come onto the toes. Hold it here. I'm gonna give you a heads up. We're gonna turn to the side and keep the right arm down. But hold the hover to start. Get ready, we're gonna turn. Here we go. And turn up, two, down, same side, up, two. You can be on that knee and stay on the knee. Up, as you rotate, keep the shoulder over the elbow. That is important to protecting the shoulder. Keep the shoulder directly over. Up, two, down. Last one, hold it up, hold it up. Is your shoulder over the elbow? Reach, reach, lift the hips up. Three, two, release, nice job. Now take that right arm, arm across the chest. Back down there. Parallel forearms with the short end of the mat. Knees or toes. Shoulders, roll them away from the ears, flatten the upper back. Keep the hips low and rotate. Left arm down, center, again, rotate. Center, again, rotate. Center, again. You can be rotating on the knee and nobody should feel frustrated. Everybody should feel challenged. If you have done as many as you can do, you're gonna get stronger. Take a break, you've earned it. Hold it there, hold it. Lift the hips up, shoulder over the elbow, reach. Your butt does not stick out behind you. Hips are stacked, lift up and hold. Face forward, hold it, hold it. Four, three, two, and child's pose. Walk those fingertips out. All right, I'm gonna come side onto my mat. I need you to grab weight if you want. Of course, they're always optional. Come down onto your back. Knees over the hips. Well, let's start simple, feet down. Just give me a crunch, crunch, crunch. So what are you doing here? You're trying to figure out, all right, what's gonna work for me? Is this enough for me? Does this get me out of my comfort zone? Does this make me work? It should not be excruciating. It should be hard though. If that's not enough, lift the knees. Crutch, crutch, 
crunch. Crunch, if that's enough. Enough crunch. We're going to add on crunch. Crunch. You can add a weight to the chest. Crunch and lift the hips. Crunch and lift the hips. Crunch and lift the hips. Four. Three. Two. Hold it here. All right, set the feet down. Again, you can keep the feet on the floor. You can bend the knees. You can get rid of the weight. It's up to you, ready? Let's start with the knees bent. Tap the right foot down. Right two, overhead with the weight or arms. Left foot down. You can be holding on to a weight. You can just be reaching the arms overhead. You can tap the feet down with the knees bent or you can extend the leg out. So this adds load to your lower abdominals. Reach out and in again. Out and in again. Out and give me singles. It's eight, seven. Your lower back should not lift off the mat. If it is, keep the knees bent. Just tap down. You are still working. Two more. Slow it down. Both legs if you want. Remember, does not matter what option you've chosen. What matters is how hard are you working at the option you have chosen. That is the only thing everybody should have in common is we are all working equally hard. Reach. And of course your form is good. Out, two, in, two, last one, knees in, set the weight down, cross, crawl, side to side, side to side. Rotate. Now get the shoulders off the mat and rotate the shoulder towards the opposite knee. We're gonna add a pulse, here we go. Pulse two, switch, and pulse two. Pulse, remember the bent knee thing? You can still bend the knees if you want. And set the feet down. To the finish, single, come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You're almost there. Just eight more, it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, and release. Reach the arms and legs long, very quickly though. I want you to roll yourselves over onto your stomachs. We just did a lot of abdominal work. We wanna balance that off with some work for the back. I'd like you to bend your knees, pull the heels together, flex the feet. Press the heels just a little bit to the ceiling. Take your fingertips to temple. You can look at the floor, don't lift the head. We're just gonna lift the chest, here we go. Lift the chest and lower. If this is too much, you can put your hands down on the ground and sort of help yourself up. Muscle fatigue is fine, sharp pain is not fine. Lift the chest. All right, not enough guys, how about a little bit more? Press the heels up, press the heels. Lower, lift and press, lower, singles, go, eight, seven, for strong back, six. This is gonna help you stand tall, four more. Three, two, hold it up, arms out, and lift. Pulse, 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 four, three, two, eight more, eight, seven, pull the hands back to the hips, Four, three, two, hold, and release. Child's pose, nice job. All right, keep your knees center on the mat. Walk the fingertips out. We're gonna cool down from here. Just hang out here for a second. Let's stay in this child's pose. Knees are centered on your mat. Keep the knees together, walk those fingertips out. Just enjoy this break, take a deep breath in, fill those lungs up, and exhale. Now come on up, take your knees, bring them to the outer edges of your mat, pull your heels together, sit your glutes towards your heels, and now bring your chest towards the floor in a modified child's pose. Feel those inner thighs stretch out, we did lots of plies.
Now let's take that right arm through, palm to the ceiling, shoulder to the mat, and your right ear to the mat. Walk that left hand out in front of you just a little bit farther. And switch, left arm through, left shoulder to the mat. Again, walk that right arm out in front just a little bit more, just lengthening. Come up onto all fours, and I want you to bring the knees together again. Scoop the belly up. Gently arch. Scoop the belly up. And gently arch. Come on, all the way up. Roll those shoulders back and down. Let's take that right leg and bring it forward. Hinge at the hips. Just lengthen the quad, the hip flexors. Take that left arm, wrap it around the outside of the knee, and rotate. Shift back, toes up, tailbone up, low rib down. And switch it up. Opposite leg forward. Rotate. Shift back, toes up, tailbone up, low rib down. Remember to stretch, it is really important. To come up onto the feet, hands on the quads, scoop the belly up. If you need to stretch out more, please go right ahead and do so. Take a deep breath in. Center that energy, and one more time, inhale. Center that energy, listen to your body. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.